Hello everybody and welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to review the horror movie The Monster. Now this is a film that got its release in 2016, uh, generally speaking, everywhere else in the world. But has just got its release on the 8th of October in the UK. And this is a film that I've been very much looking forward to seeing. And this is... Um, a, a genuine creature feature flick um, that's done in quite a unique style. It's almost like an indie film that turns into a creature feature. And this film focuses on a mother and a daughter, basically, who are travelling back, uh, well, or travelling cross-country because the mother is dropping off the daughter with her father because she's failing miserably as a mother. Um, and you get some... Uh, some scenes at the beginning of the movie that flesh this out that show how she's feeling as a mother and as well as throughout this movie you also get um, a number of flashback scenes that also add fuel to that fire that show you how uh, this mother and daughter relationship has been um, slowly but surely breaking down over the years. Um, so this is this is a, a struggling relationship. The mother and daughter aren't getting on, and she's basically driving cross country to drop the daughter off with the father because she can't cope anymore. They are driving at night. It's uh, raining heavily, and they get into a bit of an accident. Uh, they're stuck on the side of the road. Um, they don't know what to do, and unbeknownst to them, there is some primal creature stalking them from within the woods and slowly but surely they realize this or realize that there is something untoward happening um, and very quickly it becomes a fight for survival uh, with this creature stalking them and that's the bas basic movie here guys it's there's very, very few cast members in this film. You just have the mother and the daughter, and you get an appearance by Aaron Douglas, who you might remember from Battlestar Galactica. He turns up to try and help them. Um, and a very f fleeting appearance from Scott Speedman, who plays the father, who you know um, you mainly see through flashbacks and stuff. Um, but this film is focused heavily on the mother and daughter. Firstly, their relationship, and in actual fact, the first... 30 minutes of this film or so it's it's more like an indie family drama very heavy on the drama and the swearing and you know mother daughter hating each other type thing um, and you might appreciate that or you might not I personally appreciated it because it it really fleshed out these characters to the point where you knew who they were you understood them um, and for me it really helped if if a, if a if a movie any movie takes the time to flesh out a character it makes you care about them ever even more and this film does it particularly well so it starts off very much feeling like a drama indie film um and then boom it kicks off into this creature feature that is actually constructed really well it they've been very clever here they don't show you much initially all you hear is like the breathing of this creature which is frightening enough um it's the usual you know stalking them from the woods and that kind of stuff and it builds tension excellently um i thought the performances by the two actresses here we have uh, zoe kazan and ella bellantine uh, they were both outstanding. For me, if if the main focus of the film is two characters, you have to cast these characters really well, and they did. Um, the mother and you believed this mother and daughter relationship. The 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 child actress uh, Ella Bellanti, I thought was outstanding. Um, to the point where, and this was fascinating to me, you act she actually got on your nerves. Believe it or not, she got on your nerves as character because she was so whiny and moany to a mum crying all the time um, it actually got on your nerves because it was frustrating you you wanted to scream at the screen will you shut up but in actual fact it was very clever because that's exactly how a child would react in this scenario you're being stalked by this creature you would be absolutely terrified you wouldn't want your mum to get out of the car you wouldn't want your mum to leave you on your own you would want protecting and nurturing and made to feel safe um, so actually how it, she reacted was very realistic even though it was frustrating to watch so I really really applaud them for that they didn't hide from that fact they made it realistic the scenario and I thought 
as an actress she did excellent in this role as did the mother who um might have been failing as a mother which you see clearly in this film but when it comes down to it when it actually comes down to this primal need to protect your child um the motherly instincts really comes out in her and i thought she did outstanding as well the creature design when you see it was excellent it was very primal it was very uh frightening um teethy i mean it was a it was a good design i thought i think when you've got a, a, something like the monster in the title you'd better deliver on the monster and i thought the design here was pretty good and pretty clever and they didn't overly show it however um when when the conflict actually starts there's a huge build up to um a, a huge tension filled build up to when the creature reveal and when the reveal takes place that's it it's on screen all the time pretty much then you see it full on um, and the design works and the effects work for me so for me i thought this was a very strong creature feature i'm going to give it a seven and a half out of ten um it felt, felt a little bit enclosed but um, I did very much enjoy it and I found it genuinely frightening at times. So for me, yeah, I do recommend this one, guys. And it is out now from the 8th of October. So I hope you enjoy this review. And once again, thank you very much for watching. Hi, this is just a quick message from me to thank you very much for watching this video and for checking out the channel. Please do me a huge favor and click that like button. Please leave as many comments as you like on the videos and of course don't forget to click that subscribe button and if you do click that subscribe button click the notification bell as well so that you never miss out on any content that I put up on YouTube. So thanks very much for watching guys I really do appreciate it and I'll see you next time on Screen Stars.